So I have a new uh, slide template here, and um, first thing I'm going to do is just give it a good name. Keep in mind, teachers receive, uh, you know, 30 versions of each assignment, so plus you need to be able to find this yourself, so don't ever send a teacher anything that's called untitled, you know, slides, or untitled document, or untitled spreadsheet. You can put your name in it. it makes it so much easier. So, um, first thing we have here, you know, so, um, just it gives you a standard title slide. Now, I want to just, before I go on, talk about the speaker's notes. This is where extra information goes. Don't put extra information in the slide itself just put it below and it'll be there and this is also where you should sign your slide so if you worked on a slide you should enter your initials here and that way we know who did each slide you could put it in the corner of the slide but that's something really easy to do so uh it's going to show you uh, how to uh, pick a, a theme and um, we see these a lot um, you know, uh, these as teachers, uh, and sometimes you know, it's not you know, you, they don't they're not really that interesting. They're just aerial, black, white, you know, some basic things. There's a lot better um, themes out there, and you can go and uh, create your own. Uh, you can go to Slides Go or Slides Carnival and import something, and then you can customize it a little bit to suit yourself. So I'm going to click on Import Theme. And what it, it's going to ask for is I'm going to um, pick, it's going to show me my recent presentations and then uh, I can pick one that I want and uh, I can search for it uh, if it doesn't appear right away or even upload a PowerPoint if I want. So here's the one that I want. I just got to select the one that I want and I'm going to click import. All right. So what you see right away is that it is uh, it's changed the title to my new template. I'm going to close this here. Well, where is this new template? Slide edit master. I'm going to hold this here for a second because I want to be sure that you go to the slide template master, slide edit master. And when you first get it, you'll see there's different versions. This is one that I use for some of my coaching presentations. I have a, a section header. I have things for like a big quote or a big statistic. It's based on a color scheme that the San Antonio Spurs use. I have a, uh, a template for text. I have a template where I can put a video or an image. I have another template where I... Um, Put my images and here's another one where I can you know put my images and give them a subtitle and you know I also just put just for a different look I have one that's half and half now you won't really need all of these when you do your slide you know you definitely need a title you need a slide you need a section title or one that you're going to use for asking the audience a question so I'm going to just delete some of the other ones that we don't quite need you need a text slide. And, you know, whether you want something different is, is up to you. I'm not going to use this today. So I for just removed this. Now, what I want is that I want to customize it to my needs. So firstly, I'm going to click on this top one that says Master. And I want this to be a North Toronto themed slide. So I'm going to make sure I use the North Toronto um, colors. So here where it says Theme, under the paintbrush, I'm going to, you can see these are the uh, theme colors that are, you know, I, I, I was using green and pink and orange in that one, but I don't necessarily want that. I'm going to click on the little pencil next to theme. And now I'm going to change my accent color. So my first accent, instead of it being, you know, 
a uh, green one. I'm going to make it red. My other accent, you know, you know as we know, North Toronto is gray. I'm going to select a gray. I'll put a couple of other variations on red in here just for a contrast. This is a hexadecimal. The first two digits are red, the second two digits are green, the second, the last two digits are blue. And then, um, you know, and so on. And remember, one to always change is at the bottom, it's link. Um, I'm having a little trouble seeing it right now, so sometimes my uh, doesn't quite go, go all the way to the bottom. Make sure you turn the link because you don't want, you know, you, you end up with a hyperlink. You want it to be part of your theme. So I'm going to make sure that I've also changed the link. So now you can see the link will fit in with the color scheme. And these other accents, you know, we're really not, you're probably not going to use a lot of them. You can change as much or as little as you want. So. I close that. So first thing, you know, what I think I would like is I don't want, I want my own font. I'm going to hit control A or command A and select everything. And then I will change it to um, a font. Um, this can be whatever font you want. I recommend you pick one that's not too complicated because this is going to appear everywhere. and you don't necessarily want a complicated slide, you know, title. Um, now you can do something, you know, for the title. Here I have the title, you know, so you notice it's changed my, my title here. If I wanted my title slides, you know, maybe on the title slide I want something a bit, you know, fancy. I can certainly still, you know, have one or two slides where I use the fancier type. But for the most part, you don't, you want your default one to be, um, you know, too simple, simple. So here I go. I'm going to change it to our red. Um, now here we have, um, I don't need the San Antonio Spurs image, so I'm going to replace it with another image. So you can upload an image. You can have a color. If you go to color, you can also do gradients. Don't overdo the gradients. They can be distracting, or you can choose your image. So I'm going to choose an image. And uh, I'm going to go to my Google Drive, and I recently uploaded it, so you could search for it, but it's going to be under my recent. I'm going to use this one here. Insert it. So now what you've noticed is it's a little darker here. That's because what I did was I uh, inserted a... You know, I inserted a bit of a, a rectangle and made it transparent so that the uh, that can be a good technique. You know, is this is this visible? Uh, you want to look at that, check that it's visible. You know, I, I'm, I'm, I don't like exactly how visible it is, so I'm going to go insert shape, shape, rectangle. And uh, luckily it sort of helps me uh, line it up. You see these little red lines and blue lines appear to help me line it up. So obviously it, it starts off, it comes with a border. I don't want a border, I want a transparent border. And then uh, here it's solid. So if you want to make it more cus uh, transparent, go to custom. And then you can sort of see, all right, I've, I've dimmed the background a little bit. Now you can see this, this text here is uh, you know, darker. Well, I gotta right click here on it and go send send the back. And now it's in front of my, my background picture. And again, you know, don't worry that when it uh, you know it's cut cut off here here it'll it'll all be straight straightened out when you enter it. So I'm gonna go with my you know my color scheme. Let's see, there's a little bit of a white mark. You know, make sure. You know that it's uh, if you're not sure exactly that it's laid out go to format options select position and so I want it to be in totally in the top left and just um, when we look at the size you know the slides are, are um, 
10 uh, inches wide and uh, 5.65 inches tall so those will be the dimensions that you want and then position you can choose to do it uh, in terms of a top left or a center and I want it to start exactly in the top left that'll line up a little better all right so I got this one here and I uh, this band let's go with one of our, our theme colors so I'll click on the, the the band that I have there I'm gonna make it red and you know I don't like this this here so I'm gonna, you know, I don't like this uh, black. I'm just gonna change that to a shade of gray. And again, we don't need, um, you know, Greg Popovich in the background. We want our um, school. So background, choose image. And there's a new color image. Oops, sometimes, where'd it go? Insert, done. And uh, what happened here? So how did I create this the first time? Maybe I might have, did I, uh, oh, I, I, I put the whole image in here. There, now you can see the background. And you know what, I don't like the, like it being too dark. Uh, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to uh, delete this background and you know what this is kind of covering right where the school would be So what I'll do is I'll just uh, I'll go a little lower and uh, You can sort of see the red lines making sure that things are you know centered and, uh, You know again, you, you got to adjust to what you're given so I don't want like a big red band in front of the school Maybe something like this would work better. I mean, obviously, you'll, you know, you'll work on this as you, you, you get older and you do more presentations. So here we have the uh, um, text slide. Now, the text slide, you want don't want it to be too complicated. One thing, looks like there's a, uh, I left a faint image in the background. I'm going to replace that with just a little bit of a gradient. And uh, you know, we'll start light and we'll go gray and actually I'll customize it so you you can you know choose exactly what you want so I'm gonna make it really really light and uh, I'll add a stop that way as you know just so that the gradient only really starts you know at the uh, at the bottom part it'll be very subtle and uh, subtle until then Now you can see that uh, it's slight, slight gradient. And you know, I, I wanted this little uh, page number and I wanted this little uh, line here just for some interest. What I'll do just to make it a little more customized, I'm gonna insert an image and this will appear on all the slides. So don't make it too big. Um, you can upload from your computer or from your recent images in your drive. And I'm gonna put the school logo, the Norseman in here. As you can see that's really really big so obviously we couldn't you know read the slides if that guy was oops was in all of the ones and I'll just you know put them in the corner here and now we have a less little bit of a customizable tip uh, you know here what do you what 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 do you want you know do you want uh, again I don't I don't re I don't really want um, Greg Popovich in my my North Toronto presentation. So again, but one thing you know, I want to make sure that uh, when I insert the video, uh, this this captions readable. So I'll just change <coughs> the highlight color, and then that way I know it'll be a little bit readable. So. Uh, I made this with some shapes and I'll show you what the point of it is in a second um, but it's good to have one like this however you know you can uh, again you, this is, you just use all the fill shapes customize it the way that you want and I'll show you why I kept it this way so actually the white the white is a, as a ball as a shape I put in the gray and the red and the shadow are a shape that I put in so if you click on the red and you go to the three dots format options you can see there's a drop shadow and I've, I've customized the angle for how it's going to appear 
this gray and so this is actually good for full screen pictures you know sometimes you put these you guys put these graphics on there and they're super small uh, you might want a full screen picture and this is a good way to do that I'll show you how to do that or sometimes you might want a, a caption you know to appear above the picture again you don't want to squish the picture so no one can see it so I'm gonna go back when I, as soon as I click on this left I'm gonna be back in my main presentation so you can see my new font, my new color. Just typing things out. Do, 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 do. All right. So what might I want? Text slide. So here you see the title is blank, the text is blank. You know, hey, limit yourself to, you know, two or three points. If you need extra, use the speaker's notes. I'll see it when I mark your presentation but uh, it won't be shown during the presentation. Remember to sign the slides. And so here's kind of all of our, uh, our slide, our text slides will look about the same. Now I mentioned those images. So let's say that I wanted to uh, insert an image. So I have a big, f images should be 1920 by 1080. That's a 16 to 9 ratio, so 1920 pixels tall, 10, uh, sorry, 1920 pixels wide, 1080 pixels tall, and here, I'll show you how that works. So I, I'm in my, I want a big full screen picture to catch everyone's attention. I go insert. Now it keeps, it like it's like this red and uh, gray boundary are, are framing it, and there you can see a big full screen picture. I told you you might want a caption so here the white is the background so background I'm going to choose an image it could be any image but I'm just recycling these images here and then you can see oh no caption you know just for a bold image you can talk and here you might say like the uh, school and then um, Here's one I, I put in for videos. And so uh, what I would do is insert, you know, so I got my, my caption, I got my line, I got my background ready. And so when I want to insert a video, I can go to, uh, you know, YouTube, go to Google Drive. Uh, so here's a highlight video of the Junior Boys basketball team. You know, I got to just, you know, make sure it's set up correctly. You know. Sometimes if you're not sure if it's center, right click on it, center on page, horizontally, center on page, vertically. Uh, and uh, it looks like, okay, I don't want to give them away with that, that, that caption. I'll just lower it a bit. And then when I go to um, uh, position, you can see oh, you can see you know exactly where it is make sure you know all your image your, your your videos are in the same position or it'll look a little weird and again I give it a title so when it gets to this video we can hit the play button and and, and go on so those are some of the and then um, you know that's how you use the slide template feature uh, remember slide Edit Master to customize and enhance your presentations. Be sure to use the slide template feature to customize your group presentation.